light off. I mean on. Okay. Alexa, turn the light on. Okay. Okay, so my brain is just clearly not functioning when I first wake up in the morning. But anyways, hey guys, welcome to my morning routine, my winter 2020 online university morning routine. So the average time that I wake up is around 7am as you saw on my alarm in the UK because it's dark at this time of year. It is a struggle to get up in the morning just because it's dark as I said but I try my best to convince myself that it's not such a bad idea to wake up and get started with my day because once I am out of bed I'm totally fine. It's just that initial sound of the alarm that gets me every single time. I will put on my socks and my dressing gown because it's usually quite cold. I'll then head downstairs and go to the toilet. Sometimes this is just a casual stroll down the stairs. Other days it's me sprinting because I sometimes wake up really needing the toilet. I don't know if anyone can relate. But I will then go to the fridge and get out my mason jar so that I can drink water. I have done this for the longest time in the morning. I drink two full mason jars of water. I just like to start my day feeling fully hydrated. Usually in the house, other people will be awake at this time. So whether it's mum sorting out Bali and Java or Emily or Matthew or dad getting ready to go to work. Milka was also in the kitchen today, which is quite unusual. And you can also see mum in her nighty. It's not like I wear my retainers every night so I'll just take those out and then I can brush my teeth. Sometimes I'll start brushing my teeth with them in because I'm just not fully awake yet but when I brush my teeth I use my sonic toothbrush and even though it looks like I'm really deep in thought I literally don't know what is going through my head at this time because I'm still surfacing, I'm still waking up. Back upstairs in my room, I'll make my bed and then I will just turn my radiator on because as I said, it's usually quite cold and that just helps to warm my room so that I can sit at my desk and get started with my day. So I firstly check my bullet journal and this is when I will sometimes do some journaling. However, today I just simply checked my weekly plan, updated it, made sure I knew what I was going to get on with that day because I usually try and plan the evening before. After about half an hour since I'd woken up of not being on a screen, I will then put my glasses on and start with my emails. I like to get these done first thing and so I will just work on those for a bit. And then I'll usually get Alexa to play me the news and the weather for the day. Hi, here's your morning update from BBC News. The UK became the first country in the world to give the jab the green light with the first vaccinations beginning next week. Doses of the vaccine have arrived in the UK. They're being kept at a central hub in an undisclosed location. So I usually try to do emails for a maximum of half an hour, but that obviously depends on how many I have. Today's forecast is showers, with a high of 3 degrees and a low of 2 degrees. That's all for now. Oh, rain. Rain is the forecast. Doesn't really make me happy, but I do double check on my phone, although I shouldn't really trust weather apps. Anyways, after that I will move on to some uni work, so today I was basically typing up some lecture notes. Sometimes I'm quite good and I'll say to myself, you're just gonna work for about an hour or an hour and a half. Other days I'll get so carried away and I'll be here for like two or three hours just working through lectures or assignments or anything like that. But today I was actually quite good with myself. I got the lecture notes done and then ticks it off in my bullet journal, which is always a good feeling. By this time, the sun has risen so I can open my blinds and let in some natural light. I will then go on my phone which I try not to do before this time so I will just reply to any messages that I have and sometimes just look on social media like Instagram and YouTube and then I will start getting myself ready to go on my morning run. So I'll start by taking my hair out of my scrunchie and then I'll do it up in a bun that is a bit tighter and a bit neater and sometimes I'll grip back my frizz as well. I will then sometimes, not every day, epilate my armpits so I don't shave but I will use my epilator instead. Up until very recently I have been running in shorts but today I put on a long sleeve top and my leggings. Oh. 
so I'll start playing music through my AirPods and put my Apple Watch on just whilst I'm getting ready. Depending on how much time I have, I may roll out my muscles. So today, one of my hamstrings was quite tight, so I made sure that I targeted that area. And if I'm going on a particularly long run, I will make sure I stretch. But today, it wasn't a long run and this was the extent of me warming up my ankles. Oh, and this also happens. It's actually really fun, so I try it before you judge. Anyways, I will put my bum bag on so that I can put my phone and keys in it. And then I'll go downstairs to put on my really dirty trainers as well as gloves, which come in useful at this time of year before heading out on my run. It's gonna be cold. Okay, so if I have uni calls, which usually start at 11 a.m., I will try and make sure that I'm back in time to stretch out for about 10 minutes and then also get changed. Sometimes I am really rushed and I don't have time to do this, but today I was actually quite on it with my timings so I could just come inside and as I said, stretch out. I will do this on my yoga mat and it's quite spontaneous normally, but I do try and stretch out all different parts of my body because stretching out after working out is so important. Once I feel that I have fully stretched out, I will then get some clothes ready to put on for the day and then I'll just quickly go to the bathroom and freshen up. I don't have a full shower but it's kind of like just to freshen up which I have always done. To get in the Christmas spirit I put on these Christmas socks mum got me recently and then sometimes I will brush up my eyebrows and curl my eyelashes. Ow! Do I even have my eyelash? I can't do this without a mirror. This is the extent of my makeup, but I don't even do this every day. It's only if I feel like making myself look a bit more put together. And then to go along with that, I might put my earrings in. One of you guys told me to put some lip balm on my ears first, and that actually really works as a good hack. So at 11am, as I said, we might have a uni call. I am a master's student at UCL, but I'm doing everything online from home. These calls are therefore all done on Zoom. Today it was a Q&A session and although these are scheduled for an hour, they're usually less than that. And if it's not a Q&A session, we might be having a tutorial for an hour and a half or a research talk for an hour. And for those, I try and eat my breakfast beforehand. Yeah, I did have one question. Um, yeah. I was just gonna ask how long does the literature review part of the assignment need to be? Like, does it need to be a certain percentage? With the university being online, I feel that these Q&A sessions are really useful. And here I was just asking about our assignment that we were currently working on. And sorry, just another quick question then. It's mm -hmm. general to all types of cancer, not just ovarian cancer these mechanisms. Oh, and if you didn't know, I am doing a master's in cancer biology. Okay, yeah, that makes sense, thank you. Okay, now it is breakfast time, so if you guys tune into my vlogs a lot, you'll know what I tend to have for my breakfast. I firstly boil the kettle and I will make myself a hot lemon. This is my cute winter mug, the cat looks like Milka. And then I will get started to make myself a green smoothie. Yes, there is a lot of spinach that normally goes into this thing, but it's not really your typical green smoothie because there's a lot of bananas in it to make sure it's filling. I can leave the full recipe down below, but I put in frozen fruit, plant milk. I will sometimes add a powder. So this is my Vivo Life Thrive powder that also has B12, linseed or some flaxseed. And then I just blend it all up and it makes this beautifully green, green smoothie. I cannot even tell you how much I love this thing. I look forward to it every morning. I will then usually eat some fruit alongside. So today I just randomly ate some frozen berries. I'll do my washing up and then head back upstairs. By which point I will usually have my blanket because I'm quite cold. Okay, so for the rest of the morning, aside from struggling with the blanket, I will get started with some uni work. I might do my emails before this, but I mostly try and get on with lectures or my assignment for the rest of the morning and into the early afternoon. Today, for example, I was just reading a paper, so I was going through and highlighting that on a PDF document. And then I was just typing that up and adding it to my lecture notes. After that, I then planned to write up some other lecture notes, but this time I'd handwritten these. And as I'm going through my morning, I will just keep checking my plan in my bullet journal to make sure I'm on track. 
and sometimes in the UK, sometimes the sun might be shining, like on this morning actually, so it was a good day to film my morning routine. So I hope you enjoyed this video, definitely like it if you did, comment down below, subscribe if you are new, and I will speak to you very soon in another video.